Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add countdown timer to Google Sites. The first thing you will need to do is go on to countingdowntook.com. As you can see right here, you're going to go onto this website and it is completely free to try. You don't have to sign up or anything like that. And you're going to tap on website countdowns. After doing that, you can scroll down and from here you can add your event name. So let's say for example, test. So you can type in your event name, then you can select your countdown date. So let's say we want to count down until the 8th of February. After doing that, you can also select the time zone. You can select the language and you can select whether you would like it to be repeated. And going over to the right hand menu option, you can also change the style if you want. So you can make it hyper animated. If you want, you can choose any one of these options. As you can see right here, there are numerous options you can select from. You can also change the size and you can also change the color. So let's say we would like to change the background color. You could tap on the current background color box right there. Then you could select a color that you want to use. As you can see, there are numerous colors that you can select from. After you have changed the background color, you can also select whether you like it to be reflective or not. After you're finished, all you'll need to do now is tap on Embed. After selecting Embed, you'll be redirected to this page. And you're going to copy the code right here. So on this page, all you'll need to do now is copy the code. So we'll copy the code right here. Then you're going to go onto Google Sites. And you're going to tap on Embed from the right hand menu option. Then select Embed Code. And you're going to paste in the code that you have copied. Then tap on Next. After selecting Next, you can see the countdown timer right there. And you're going to tap on Insert. And you can see it right there. And that is it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.